Hi, Hi we're Jose and Smile. Smile, and today we just finished our hot air balloon experience. I finally got to celebrate my birthday finally. 10 days after. We tried to take the hot air balloon ride on my actual birthday, but due to weather conditions, it was cancelled. And then we tried the next day, and then it was again cancelled. So finally, after 10 days, we were able to do it. Yay! And since it's supposed to be my birthday present, <laughs> I finally got to give her my yes. birthday present. So we drove up to Napa last night so that we don't have to drive very early this morning because the call time or the meetup time is at 5.30 a.m. They usually do the balloon flights by sunrise because that's when the weather or the wind is the most calm. We got in here, we signed the waivers mm -hmm. and while we were waiting, they offered coffee and some light snacks. Light snacks. Some muffins basically. And then they assign you your balloon. Normally they said they launch in this area but because it was hazy this morning they had their shuttles ready and they took us to a supposedly clear area. The haze is actually just here in this part of the uh, of the Napa Valley and so where we went 35 30 minutes away uh -huh. north is there's no there's no haze. Yes. So we were Good able to thing. launch from there. Yeah. Yes. As we were approaching, we can already see the yeah. inflated balloons. They started inflating while we were on their way. And it was so exciting. It was and it's actually amazing. cute that they were inflating it in front of someone's house. And it was somebody's house. I, I jokingly <laughs> asked because it looked like somebody's front yard. The staff basically said, yeah, it's, it's practically somebody's house. It's because the owner's it's the front owner's house. Front yeah, so it's so basically cool. Right from there. <laughs> it was so nice because there was like five balloons uh -huh. in a small area all launching from yes, the same place. Yes, it's so we got exciting. To see, we got to see how they were inflated. Uh -huh. Some balloons were already inflated but mm -hmm. our balloon was yeah. still in the process of being inflated so we got to see how they prepare it. And I remember one of the staff actually came up to me yeah. and said, this is finally happening because they knew that we've been trying since my birthday. <laughs> we're here, I think I finally celebrated. She was so excited that when we <laughs> got on, you know, inside the, the wicker basket, the basket, oh she God. started skipping and, and jumping. I had to go, stop, we're like in a balloon so now. Yeah, because it was starting to shake the entire balloon. The first few minutes was actually scary. I had yeah. weak knees and sweaty yeah. palms. But after a few minutes, it became stable and calm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Climbing up the, the launch, they call it the launch, it was kind of surreal because you don't feel it and you just all of a sudden just you just start lifting up fast enough that you're like whoa yes. and you get it's, scared. It's like climbing up an elevator, yeah. but it's an open <laughs> basket. <laughs> How are you feeling, Joshi? A bit scared, actually. Actually, me too. <laughs> so excited. I'm holding. Me too. We're holding on to the. Things. That is where we took off. It's the front yard of the owner, actually, of the yeah, company. It's the front, yard. front yard of the owner. And you can see the shadows of the other balloons right there. Oh, yeah, you're right. So That's nice. cool. Let's take a okay, picture it's of that. not scary anymore. It's just peaceful. Once you get over that initial fear of like that, that launch, <laughs> uh, when you're up there, it's super stable. It's it, very peaceful, it's very quiet, yeah. except for the fire. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's pretty loud because it's like really like on top of your head. Yeah. How's everyone again? Good. 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 My name is Pete from the pilot. Creeping in under the sky. 
here. So we do stack up, go normal. Uh, we're going to get close. Handles, they're red in color. They exist around the perimeter of each compartment. You know where they are. This is as rough as it will be until we come into land. In our basket, there were 10 passengers plus the pilot. And in the basket, it's divided into three. One for the pilot and then half passengers on both sides. So it's balanced. Yeah, it's, <laughs> yes. it's really nice up there. There's mm -hmm. views, amazing views, vineyards, like landscape views. Vineyards, of, yeah, the mountain range, mountains. hills. There's some ponds and little and lakes over there. you can even there. see the fog on the hills. Yeah. It's so beautiful. So, so where we were, you can actually see the haze and the fog. We were up for how long? About, about an hour. About an hour. Yes. And then the, and the entire time, that fog and haze just sat mm -hmm. there the entire time. The pilot was talking about how the balloon works and also he was telling us about Napa the geography, Valley. Yeah. He, he might as well be a, a weatherman because he <laughs> talked about how the weather works, how the sun and the wind, you know, uh -huh. um, kind of generate the lift for the balloon and everything uh -huh. else. It's really good. The temperature, because of the colder air of that moisture, will change, dropping the temperature to the dew point. Boom, we start to see clouds. It's so nice. Early enough, we'll see it's forming. Moving, and if you have the patience and the time. Oh my gosh. That's our van and the truck for the balloon. They're following us. When it was time to land, the pilot said, since we're facing a certain way... We had to face opposite the front, basically. Uh -huh. Just in case the basket tips over. And they do that so that if you it does tip over, you're on your back, as uh -huh. opposed to like, you know, face planting if you <laughs> tip over. And once you're flying, you want to bend your knee, handles and hands, hands and handles in front of you. But luckily, it was a very smooth landing. As we were landing, the people were like, Towing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like an airplane where you get where you land and they start sometimes, you know, you get towed into your gate. Yes. It was kind of like that, Ex were, except it's people. Yeah, they were positioning the balloon in such a way that when they deflate the balloon, they have enough space for it. And then they didn't let us off until the, the, balloon. the balloon started deflating. I guess that's for um, um, safety purposes, uh -huh. so it doesn't all of a sudden like lurch up <laughs> yeah, and we get into an yes. accident. And it's very rare, they said, that you land where you launch. Yeah. That's why they advise you to wear comfortable shoes so that wherever you land, because it might um, require you to do some walk. And then after that, they took us back to the meetup area where we had brunch, yeah, brunch with, yes. uh, with our fellow passengers and the pilots were there. It was a simple breakfast basically, a buffet breakfast. Uh -huh. Eggs, with mimosas. bacon, but with So mimosas. I'm a bit drunk. Yeah, well, she's drunk. <laughs> yeah, just mimosas, which is basically champagne and orange juice. Orange juice. juice. That was really nice. Overall, it was such a cool experience. It was a great experience. Going back from the balloon, on the shuttle ride, I can't stop. Like, just ah, I'm so excited. I've been I've been trying to hold off that excitement in the balloon because I might jump and skip and it yeah. will shake the balloon. But oh my gosh, that was so fun! I would recommend it to Very, anyone. Very totally, hundred percent. So I totally recommend it if you get a chance <laughs> yes. um, to do it. It was amazing. The experience of just being up there, the yes, launch and being oh up there is amazing. And the views are spectacular. I feel like it's the closest you can be to flying because mm. it's an open basket. Probably skydiving is probably closest to, to thing. Not but, that we've done but, it, but, but for feel, us. But I feel like for skydiving, you don't have enough time to actually take everything in. Like Maybe. this one is like yeah. a floating balcony. Yeah, yeah, You're just yeah. like looking. I like that and, floating balcony. Yeah. <laughs> So, all uh, in all, it was so a really good experience. Nice. So yes, thank you for the birthday present. You're very welcome. <laughs> That's it for today. Thank you so much for joining us. Bye. Bye.